Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, March 10th. And you can see temperatures quite warm in the mid 40s to the mid 50s. But we got a little bit cooler air filtering in as high pressure works its way in. Although that'll be uh, mainly for tomorrow. I think we'll expect more in the way of sunshine. Today we can see some showers around the area. But again, precipitation amounts across most of the area will be under a quarter of an inch of rain. If we're going to see more than that, it, uh, it would be most likely across southeast lower Michigan into southwest Ontario. Again, the farther north you go, the le uh, lesser amounts of rainfall that we expect here over the next 12 to 18 hours before high pressure comes in and dominates for Friday and Saturday. If we look at the Great Lakes, you can see temperatures ranging anywhere from the low 30s across the UP all the way to the mid to upper 50s across southeast lower Michigan. And you can see with the winds out of the north, you can see where that front is. And that's going to, again, allow for some cool air vection to come in. And that will keep our temperatures in check today. We'll be about 10 to 15 degrees colder today than we were yesterday. And you can see the MAC Lightning Detection Network not picking up on uh, any precipitation or lightning strikes across the area. The closest to us is across southwest Illinois. And again, we don't expect anything in the way of thunderstorms for the foreseeable future here across the MAC area. If we take a look at the uh, webcam shop this morning from Lansing, you can see a damp start to the day. And uh, again, we're going to continue to be warm. That's the big uh, theme over the next week or so, maybe even longer. Uh, you can see our normal highs are 40, normal lows 21 for this time of year, so we're certainly running well above normal. And if we look at the next uh, screenshot, you can see these are highs and lows from Wednesday and precipitation amounts. In Nuevo, the only one getting really any significant precipitation as they picked up uh, just over two tenths of an inch of rain. But you can see across southern lower Michigan, and we made another run towards 70 degrees with temperatures topping out around 68 degrees across uh, many locations. If we look at the uh, radar this morning, you can see that uh, activity along that boundary. And you can see we got some showers even moving into central and southern lower Michigan. But again, the heaviest rains, if we're going to see anything around a quarter to a half inch, would be across uh, southeast lower Michigan. Mainly uh, amounts around a tenth of an inch or less in most areas today as it looks. If we look at the uh, surface forecast map at 7 a.m. this morning, you can see many low pressure systems tracking up that front. And that's what's allowing that front to only very slowly sink off to the southeast, but we got high pressure system that's going to help force that front to the south as these waves move up it. You can see the heaviest precipitation will be across the Gulf states to the Ohio Valley and to the northeast. By 7 a.m. on Friday, we expect that front to be well to our south as a big high pressure system is going to dominate our weather. and That will last into Saturday and even into Sunday before our chance of rain increases. And you can see on the Saturday forecast map, we got some uh, moisture pooling up off to the south. A new low pressure system in Texas is going to be moving to the northeast along with the frontal boundary off to our northwest. And I think that should help squeeze out at least some precipitation as we get into Sunday and Monday. And again, we're going to watch for a potential pretty decent storm for the middle of next week. As far as temperatures today, you can see mainly upper 40s to uh, mid 50s across the southeast part of the state. Pretty much where we're at now, uh, we're going to see temperatures fall back a little bit this morning and then rise back up to around these levels again. So certainly about 10 to 15 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. But our next surge of warm air already expected to move in by Monday with many areas across the lower peninsula into the 60s, 50s up into the UP, and uh, mid to upper 60s across southwestern lower Michigan. And by Tuesday, we'll have temperatures moving into the 70s, low 70s across the southern part of the state with 60s solidly across all of the lower peninsula. So another nice surge of warm air heading our way for early next week. So definitely spring fever in the air. If we look at precipitation amounts here for the next 72 hours, you can see heaviest rains across Louisiana up into uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, into western Tennessee, and into the Ohio Valley, and then off to the northeast. Lighter amounts here across the Great Lakes. Again, mainly for the precipitation today and then again for Sunday and Monday. And as we go uh, through the next seven days, you can see Many areas across the uh, MAC locations and LAC should pick up around three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter with much heavier rains off to the south. So not too bad around here. As far as uh, what we were talking about at some of the outlook conferences, that we had a chance to maintain some moisture as we get into the spring. Uh, one of the big features we expected was to be an early spring and a very warm to hot summer. Uh, quite a few more 90 degree days this year. And again, we start out with the uh, month of uh, March and uh, into the beginning of April with temp or, uh, precipitation amounts near normal or equal chances. And I think we'll definitely have uh, plenty of moisture here, at least for the next month. And then by the uh, three-month period of March, April, May, you can see the CPC thinks that uh, conditions are going to certainly dry up across the Great Lakes as we head into the summer. This is the area where we expect very warm compared to normal temperatures to really uh, be centered 
across the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, along with a chance that this could be the area of driest weather as, uh, as it looks right now. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day and 73s to all.